And so welcome back to our Co-Pilot Sna Snacks. This is Mike Giannotti. And uh, one of the things that I get asked a lot about is around imagery and Co-Pilot. And so PowerPoint being that it is an application where we have lots of pictures that we may want to leverage, right? Here's a standard deck that I use for a lot of things talking about Co-Pilot. Um, we want to put images in here. So I'm going to show you three simple ways to do that. And we're going to go ahead and start off. We're going to create a new slide and a blank just for adding it. And so if we want to grab an image that we know will be royalty free and have it leveraged here, we can open up Copilot right within uh, the PowerPoint itself. And I can ask uh, Copilot. So let's say we're going to just use the same kind of theme here. I'm going to say um, add an image of a cat to the slide. There we go. We'll go ahead and click send. And it's going to go out and it's going to find an appropriate image, something that it thinks will work here. And you can see it's doing this little bit of work. Boom. And there we have, we have a picture of a cat. Um, it says for other options, try using the insert tab in the ribbon. Certainly we could do that. But right from here, we were able to add quickly some type of imagery around a cat. But what about some other options, right? Maybe I want a specific uh, image around a cat. So I'm going to go ahead here. Let's add another blank slide. And this time we're going to come over to our browser. And so here I am and we're on the Microsoft, the Healthcare and Life Sciences blog, where you're going to find this post uh, shortly. And right from here, I can open up Copilot in the browser. And you can see here I have work and web. I'm looking at the web-based feature. And I'm going to say create a picture of a cat on a window. Is it windowsill? I think that's how you <laughs> put it. I'm not quite sure. Well, we'll go ahead and see. So there we go. So we're letting Copilot do its work, saying I'll try to create that. Um, and then, boom, we can see the little, this uh, icon indicates that it is in the process of creating an actual image. And so we're going to wait for that to finish. And boom, I've got four, look at that, four pictures of cats in a windowsill. So let's go ahead. I kind of like this one. We'll pick that. There's that particular cat in a windowsill. I'm going to go ahead and say, copy image and we're going to come on back here to PowerPoint and I will come over here to pictures paste and then as soon as I do that of course PowerPoint does its designer magic and voila I've got a great cat picture now you're going to use something professional not a cat but hey the internet's for cats so that's why we're using them and I don't own a cat I have dogs but be that as it may one other option I want to quickly call your attention to that I love, I think it's pretty cool. We're going to go ahead one more time, add one more blank slide. And we are going to now this time come over to the venerable application known as Microsoft Paint. And Paint now has in preview CoCreator, which is leveraging Copilot again for image generation. So let's go ahead and say a cat in a windowsill and it gives me some style options. I can make it a charcoal, a, an ink sketch, digital art, oil painting, watercolor, photorealistic, anime, pixel art. Let's go ahead with the photorealistic. We'll click create. And then it's gonna go ahead, do its thing in the background. Da 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 da. We'll let that finish up and boom, here we go. So now I've got some additional uh, images. I kind of like uh, maybe this third one here and we'll just go ahead and resize that, make it a little bigger. There's our cat on a windowsill. We'll go ahead and say select all, copy and let's paste that image in, boom. And then we can of course resize. And if we select designer, let's see what it says. 
generating design ideas based off of this image. Oh, and it doesn't have any options. Okay, that's fine. But we've got our cat. We've dropped it in. And right native through Copilot, we dropped in an image. Then we did AI generated images, never existed in the history of the internet. And they're original right now. We did this one through Copilot in the browser. And then we did this last one, Copilot in Paint. Three easy peasy ways to get images that we don't have to worry about copyright into our PowerPoints and rock and roll. And of course, if we think about what we did in these two, we could have done that just as easily in Word as well, or maybe OneNote or Whiteboard, whatever the case might be, and include, grab those images to include. So think about it, PowerPoint, adding, using Copilot for imagery, Easy peasy, easy peasy. I hope you found this demonstration to end of a Friday useful. With that, have a great day. Take care, and as always, ciao.